In this video, I explain what is cooling tower and types of cooling tower. In this image, you see two cooling tower is there. Now, first we understand what the word is says. So, cooling tower word is divided in a two parts. Then we get the two words. One word is the cooling. Second word is the tower. So, it look like as a tower. And in this tower, cooling process is carried out. Now, which substance cooling is carried out in the cooling tower? So, water is cool. In this cooling tower, okay. And when we need to do the cooling of water or any substance, we are require some other substance, okay. So here we cool the water by using the air. Means other substances use the air. So temperature of the water is reduced by using the air. In this device, it is called as the cooling tower. Cooling tower cools the warm water discharge from the condenser and feed the cool water back to the condensers now here you see the diagrams of the thermal power plant for a rankine cycles this part is the condensers okay so in a condenser steam from the turbine is supplied and we convert this steam into the condenser so how this steam is condensed so this steam is condensed by using this cold water. So this cold water is supplied through the pipes. So this cold water is absorbed the heat energy from the steam. So when this cold water is absorbed the heat energy of the steam, so temperature of the water is increased. So this outlet of this hot water from the condenser is supplied in a cooling tower. Okay, and this hot water is cool by using the air. Okay, so air is supplied from these lower parts or a base of the cooling towers and by using this air the temperature of the water is reduced so, so cool water is collected in the base of the cooling tower and this cold water is again supplied to these condensers we also need to add some makeup waters because some quantity of the water particles or a steam is go to the atmospheres with the air that's why we need to add the 3 to 5 percent of makeup waters with this cold water they does reduce the cooling water demand in the power plants. So suppose the thermal power plant is near to the rivers. In their river, the water is available in the larger quantity. So when the water is available in the larger quantity, we can use the continuous fresh waters from the rivers and it is supplied in these condensers and hot water is direct supplied in the river again. Okay. But when the quantity of the water is limited, at that times we need to use the cooling tower. Okay, means we are able to use continuous same waters again and again, and the requirement of the water is reduced. The present trend is to locate the power plant near the load center with the use of large and highly efficient cooling towers. So, majority power plants are located near the load center. Load center means where the electricity requirement is there at that place the power plants are installed means majorities of power plant are installed near the city okay, and near the city that is a less cooling water means the less fresh water is available so when the quantity of the cold water available is less then we need to use the cooling towers now second point types of cooling towers the different types of cooling tower are as follow First one is the natural drop cooling tower. So this word that is a natural drop cooling tower means how the air is circulate in the cooling tower on the basis the types are formed. So in a natural drop cooling tower, the air is circulate inside the cooling tower naturally means we are not using any fan for the circulations of the air. It is called as the natural draft cooling towers. Second is the mechanical cooling towers. So, in a mechanical cooling tower, we use the fan for the circulation of the air. It is called mechanical. In mechanical, again, there is a two type is there. First one is the force drop cooling tower. And second one is the induced drop cooling towers. So, for these different types, I make the separate videos. In, in these separate videos, I explain all these types in the detail. So, thank you for watching this video. If you learn something, then like the video 
and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subject of the mechanical engineering for power plant engineering various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for other subject i request to visit the playlist